Hi friends, I'm going to show you how to set up a free 30-day trial of Power Apps, and I'll show you a way to do that even if you don't have a work or school email address. We're starting right now. Power Apps, of course, is a way to build no-code or low-code applications, and it's part of Microsoft's overall Power Platform, which includes other products for business intelligence, automation, and virtual agents. And if you're watching this video, you're wondering how to get some hands-on practice with Power Apps. To do that, we're going to start at powerapps.microsoft.com and try to sign up here where it says Start Free. And there's a nice wizard to walk you through the information here. You'll see the instructions say to enter a work or school email address. When you do that, it's basically going to check to see if there's an existing organization out there that it can add you to. But what if you don't have one of those? What if you have something like a Gmail account or Yahoo or Outlook or Hotmail, something like that? You'll see that it doesn't work. You get the message, it looks like a personal email address. And basically at this point, the only thing you can do is go back and enter a work email address or a school email address. So you're kind of going in circles here. Let me show you a way around that. And by the way, if you do have a work or a school email address, you can enter that and just walk through the wizard. But if you don't, we're actually going to go to trials.dynamics.com and we're going to create an account for Dynamics 365. Now, don't worry if you don't know anything about Dynamics 365, you really don't need to. For our purposes, just know that it sits on top of the Power Platform and Dataverse. But by the way, I do have some videos about Dynamics 365 if you're interested, I'll link that above. But what we're going to do here is just setting up an account for Dynamics 365, which you can use a personal email address for, and that's basically going to get you into Power Apps. So let me scroll down, and here under Sales, we'll say Try for Free. Here it also asks you for a work or school email ID, but if you enter a personal email address, like a Gmail address, and say start your free trial, you'll get this error, but then you do get an option to continue with a new account. So we'll click on set up a new account, enter that personal email address again, and say next. Yes, we do want a new account, so we'll set up account, and then enter some information about yourself. I'll fill this in and be right back. All right, I've entered my information there, and then I'll click on Next. You do need to go through this verification piece, and you need a valid phone number, so you can either do text or a call. Let me do the text and say Send Verification Code. Once you get that, enter it and say Verify. And then you need to enter your domain. We're going to say Tiny Technical Tutorials PA for Power Apps. Check Availability. It's available. Great, we'll go next. And then your username and password. I'll just go with admin. You'll see that it fills in the rest of the address there using our domain name. Password. And then scrolling down. I do not want to share my information, so I'll leave that unchecked and then say sign up. So everything worked there. We have a Dynamics 365 sales premium trial, but this is going to let us get into Power Apps. Note your username here, this is how you're going to log in to Power Apps in the future. And then click on Get Started. By the way, while we're waiting, make sure you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any other Power Apps videos that I upload. You'll see that we get dropped in here into admin.powerplatform.microsoft.com. This is the Power Platform Admin Center. So again, you really don't need to worry about that Dynamics 365 part. We're just creating an account as a workaround to use that personal email address. But this is where we want to be in Power Apps. Okay, now on this screen it's prompting you for an environment. An environment is basically a container for your apps, your flows, your data. It's a way to separate things either by security or purpose, like a development environment or a test environment and so on. We do get a default environment when we set this up, but generally speaking you don't want to work there, we want to create our own. So over here on the right we'll create a new environment. I'll call it Tiny Technical Tutorials. For type, make sure you select Trial, Subscription Based. You can leave everything else the same. It is going to create a database for this environment. This will get us a Dataverse database. And we'll say Next. Here you can set additional options like your language and your currency. You don't need to enable the Dynamics 365 apps here. Again, we're not working with Dynamics. But you will want to deploy sample apps and data. Make sure that's toggled and save. You'll see here the state, so we're preparing our instance. You can just wait for it, or you can come up here and hit the refresh button, and it looks like we're ready. This is the environment you're going to be working in as you build out your apps and your flows and whatever it is that you're doing. 
But right now, again, we're in admin.powerplatform.microsoft.com, and you can always get back here to work with your environment. But to build out your apps, you actually want to go to make.powerapps.com, and from here you can start building out your apps. Just one potential gotcha though, make sure that your environment up here is toggled to the one that you think it is. Right now we're in default, but you want to be in this one up here. I probably should have named it something different so it was obvious. But it does tend to toggle you back to default. Make sure you're in the one that you set up and get to work. And that's it. Thanks so much for watching. If you want to learn more about building apps in Power Apps, check out the links here and below in the description.